Welcome back. Obamacare has divided America essentially from day one. And on this, day 163 of the Trump presidency and full Republican control of Washington, Obamacare remains the law of the land. Senate Republicans were planning to pass their replacement plan on Friday, but they can't agree on a plan because of familiar and frustrating disputes about how much to change, how big of a role both spending and rulemaking belong here in Washington. Here's one way to look at this divide, courtesy of the most recent NBC Wall Street Journal poll. Americans were asked in a word, describe their take on Obamacare. For those helped by the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, look what you see. You get to stay on my parents' insurance, the biggest pre-existing conditions. You cannot be kicked off your insurance for pre-existing conditions. Affordable care, help for low-income people, affordable prescriptions. Republicans trying to sell their changes need to sell them to these folks, the people who are happy, who've been helped by the Affordable Care Act. Republicans are targeting most of their political message, though, to this group, those hurt by the Affordable Care Act. And look, you can see, what do you hear from Republicans? You hear these frustrations, high deductibles, high premiums, not affordable, expensive prescriptions, too much out of pocket. These people hurt by Obamacare are those the Republicans say they need to urgently help. Here's the political problem. They're home this week. They want to come back with a compromise. Americans don't like the Senate Republican plan, at least what they've heard about it so far. 12% approval in a Suffolk University poll, 16% approval in a Quinnipiac University poll, 17% approval in an NPR PBS poll. The American people have looked at the Senate plan. They don't like what they see so far. The challenge of trying to bring the compromise? The Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, who home in Kentucky in recent days, had a pretty interesting explanation of the road ahead. I'm sitting there with a Rubik's Cube, <laughs> trying to figure out how to twist the dials uh, to get to 50, to replace this with something better. American people said we elected a Republican president, a Republican House, and a Republican Senate. We want to see some results. And I can't say anything other than I agree with you. But it's not easy. And we're going to continue to wrestle with this and try to get it done.